Nation Nation Harry here and Jim, I changed my desktop, uh, my, my, my Zoom background. Um, that is a, a Wooten desk in solid wood, and I inherited it. And uh, it's actually in another room, but I'm using it as a virtual background. But, sir, I changed up my act. You knew me. Well, you've known me for a long time, but you knew me in most recent times. I had that sagging white bookcase from the weight of my book. I remember the bookcase. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was taking a little bit of heat for that one. Um, first of all, how how you doing, Jim? How's, how's life? You keeping it clean? I am very well. Looking forward to summer and my turn to get inoculated and... Uh, just getting back to a more normal life. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Amen. Um, so hey, you suggested in rehearsal a really good topic about the Pro Act because I I do want our audience to think beyond the bits and bytes of computing. It, it, it Jim left to their own devices, all they do is compute. But it's a much bigger world. What's the Pro Act? What's going on? Well, the easiest way for everyone to think about this is, you remember about a year ago, California had the option to make gig employees, Uber employees, force Uber to treat them as real full-time employees, give them yep. benefits, retirement, health care, all of that. That would be great if you were an Uber driver, but think about it from Uber's perspective, it basically kills their business model. And that's true for a lot of gig economy type companies. And so the PRO Act is, in California rejected the law overwhelmingly. Oh, it's important okay. to say that. It did not okay. pass. The Biden administration is trying to do it at the federal level now. And I don't want to get into politics at all. All I want to say is for us entrepreneurs, people who depend on gig income or gig workers, this is absolutely critical that you follow what's going on, pay attention, maybe get in touch with a congressman, congresswoman, but pay attention to this. It's not in the news very much. It's There's so many other things, the $15 work hour, for example, that make the top of the news. And so this is sort of percolating at the bottom underneath the, the news cycle. And I just wanted to bring it to everyone's attention. If you are a gig worker, or if you employ gig workers, this law could dramatically affect you. So stay on top of it. I am. Yeah. Yeah. And we do both um, at SMB Nation. You know, despite, again, in, in my world of managed services providers or MSPs, they would have you believe that 100% of their revenue is under contract as a monthly recurring revenue <laughs> source. I have not yet met that person who can honestly say that. Everybody's got a side hustle. I okay. So. Yeah. And so this, this would impact them on, on that level. And then on the next level would be at SMB Nation, we use gig workers, as you might imagine, if we're doing an event, we just need someone, a friend of a friend, hey, can you help us out for a pop up for six hours outside mask on? It's all that. And, and that would impact how we could hire and fire people. And, and, and quite frankly, the economics, because Jim, that's right. In the past, if if we can't have the gig worker, then I got to go to the temp agency, right, and and get a temp for the six hours for the event, and I'm paying a premium for that, right? Everybody's got to get a bite of the apple. <laughs> right. That's right. So this is, this is important for the entire entrepreneurship space, and so I just want everyone to keep their eye on it and start talking about it so that it makes it to the top of the news not the bottom of the news, so that we can know what's going on. Well, and what I've believed in in terms of uh, 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 political awareness or real world awareness is um, in the way you started out, not, not to get political, but more educate yourself, be informed, make your own decision. I'll, res I'll respect that. If, if you educate yourself and you make an informed decision, may not be my decision, but, but Jim, I, I can respect someone that reads <laughs> and educates themselves. That makes right. sense. You know, so. I like to say that entrepreneurship, you know, we're going to play the game no matter what the rules are. Just tell me what the rules are and I'm going to go play the game. And you are yeah. too, Harry. We're going to play the game no matter what. But I want to have a knowledge of the rules and maybe have some impact on the rules if I can. But regardless, I'll be out there playing the game, that's for sure. 
Yeah. So, hey, before we go, uh, we're over at School for Startups radio.com that was plural school for startups radio.com shout out to a couple recent interviews you do first of all you're prolific you remind our audience you have a daily show let's start with that yes yeah that's real work um you Full have hour uh, every day yeah that's uh that's 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 real work shout out to bob berg uh a recent um uh, Re, a, a recent guest of yours, Go Giver, Bob Berg. He ran an RSMB Nation crowd, an MSP crowd. Mm-hmm. Uh, how's he doing? So, and that's about a decade ago. I mean, I like Bob. So, Bob, good. <laughs> uh, he's on my show every year. Uh, he comes out with a new Go Giver every year. He's doing the whole series now. And so, he and his co author, John David Mann, uh, are both prolific writers and frequent guests. Uh, I don't remember exactly what the last Go-Giver was, you know, but there's a whole series now, Go-Giver for oh, Blank, yeah. Go-Giver, and they're all basically the same fable type story. And as always, they have the fantastic Bob Berg message of giving back, leading forward, uh, all of the things that he has talked about that have become almost, I mean, everyone knows it now, you know, he's uh he won. He he got his idea to become pretty much the standard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, and well deserved. All right, my friend. We'll see you next quarter. Just always a pleasure. And hey, maybe you and I can get together live. Uh, may, maybe not next quarter, but it'll, it'll happen soon. <laughs> Good summer sometime. Have a great All day. Right. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Bye.